We all love a stunning and elegant roof, but how do you choose the best iron sheets that are sturdy, reliable, and long-lasting? Buckle up as we give you the down low. Types of iron sheets. The Kenyan roofing industry is diverse, I tell you. We have different companies that promise the best results for their products. As a buyer, you have to be careful in selecting your ideal mabati for roofing. A construction project can and may stall due to poor quality of mabati supplied. The iron sheets come in all shapes and sizes. Therefore, let's take a closer look at three popular options available locally. Number one on the list is corrugated profile sheets. Corrugated iron sheets are made of repetitive folds, hence the name corrugated. They are sturdy and offer quality roofing compared to flat roofing sheets. A 2 meter 28 gauge corrugated sheet will cost you upwards of 600 shillings and can be as high as 1500 shillings per iron sheet. Corrugated roofing sheets can be used as both roofing and wall cladding, creating a sleek and stylish build. Under corrugated sheets, you'll also find other mabatis such as galvanized steel sheet coated with zinc to prevent rusting. Polyester painted roofing sheets are mostly used in agricultural structures. PVC plastisol, which is treated using primer paint, it can withstand any weather conditions with a lifespan of up to 30 years. Bitumen corrugated sheets are coated with bitumen. They are durable and waterproof. Number 2. Box Profile Sheets Box profile sheets are mostly used in residential and industrial settings. A 2 meter 30 gauge box profile sheet will cost you upwards of 650 shillings and can be as high as a thousand per iron sheet. Number 3. Plain Iron Sheets These come in a glossy finish or matte finish. A 2 meter 30 gauge plain iron sheet will cost you upwards of 350 shillings and can be as high as a thousand shillings per iron sheet. After identifying the kind of iron sheet for your construction, you will need to decide on the size. Most mabatis are measured in meters, ranging from 2 meters, 2.5 meters, 3 meters in length, with special length also catered for. The width goes from 0.65 to 1.05 meters, with 0.85 being the popular width in Kenya. Next, choose the perfect gauge. So. What exactly is a gauge? It's a measurement of the thickness of the sheet. Now, this is where it gets exciting. The sizes of the gauge work in reverse mode. When the gauge numbers increase, the thickness of the sheets decreases. For instance, gauge 30 is thinner than gauge 28. Surprisingly again, babatis with lower gauges are heavier. Most of the available gauges in Kenya include 26, 28, 30, and 32. A nugget of wisdom here, gauges 26 and 28 are easier to work with because they are heavy and fundies can step on them without leaving visible dents on your new shiny roof. The next big step is choosing the perfect color. It sounds like a tiny detail but it reflects your personality to the outside world. Typically, pre-colored mabatis are more expensive than regular mabatis. Some of the standard colors you'll find include black, blue, coffee brown, maroon, red, and green. Choose a color that you'll be proud to look at as you enter your home or office. Enjoying the video so far? Give it a thumbs up, click on the subscribe button, and turn on your notifications. Type in the comment section and let us know where you're watching us from. Alright, on to the next step. Price. The cost of Mabati depends on the quality, the different gauges, length, and the manufacturing company. A thicker Mabati with lower gauges like 26 is more expensive compared to a thinner Mabati with gauge 32. With that said, depending on your intended use and your budget, go with a gauge that suits you and your needs. You may be tempted to focus on cheaper mabati or even factory rejects, but it's a bad idea. They may not last as long as you would want them to last. They also could cause expensive damages through leaks when it rains. On the other hand, quality mabatis are expensive and they might dent your pocket. Choose your poison well. When planning your next roofing project, refer to the nuggets of wisdom above and you'll be great to go. Pros of Mabati Roofing When it comes to the usefulness of Mabati Roofing, the benefits outweigh the disadvantages. If you take a trip down to the countryside, you'll not see the old grass-touched houses. Instead, you'll be met with shiny and beautiful Mabati roofs. The benefits include number 1. Durability 
metal roofs are sturdy and can withstand wind gusts of up to 140 mph. Isn't that breathtaking? They are also impact resistant and don't crack easily. You have to do regular maintenance though and inspection to ensure they live up to their purpose. Number 2. Environment friendly. Today, the earth is facing greenhouse emissions leading to climate change. Mabati Roofing is at the forefront to ensure that we live a better world for our children. But how? The materials used are 100% recyclable and it's a win-win for us and our lovely planet. Number 3. Affordability. You can source for affordable Mabati considering the many companies in Kenya that are manufacturing them. Do some thorough research on the internet and also visit the companies physically to check out your options. Referrals from others that have installed roofs could be a great starting point. Cons of Mabati Roofing Despite the benefits, Mabati Roofing has several drawbacks as well, such as noisiness. Have you lived in a house roofed with a Mabati during the rainy season? It's music to the ears if you love rain, but for others who don't enjoy the hobby, it's noise to the eardrums. You can solve the issue, but you'll incur additional costs. First, you can install a ceiling. Secondly, you can buy a pair of high-quality headphones. The former seems to work for most people. Number 2. Costs Some Mabati roofing may be costly, especially top-of-the-range roofing sheets. They can cost upward of 1,500 per meter, which isn't affordable to the average Kenyan. One last thing, accessories. You will need several accessories to complete the construction of your roof. These may include ridge caps, valleys, sidewall flashing, end wall flashing, eave drip, drip cap, J channel, inside corner, angle base or rat guard, track cover, gutter, rake and corner, transition flashing, roofing nails, washers and many more depending on your construction. Have you installed Mabati roofing on your construction? Do let us know in the comment section below. What company did you get the iron sheets from? And what advice would you have for someone interested in installing the same? Thanks for watching. If you found this information useful, make sure to subscribe as we share more insightful information in the real estate space in Kenya.